Georgia Southern Athletics here with head football coach Jeff Munkin after the first scrimmage at Paulson Stadium. Coach, you talk about mental preparation. Do you think the guys have transitioned well from the X's and O's from film and in practice to the first scrimmage today? Some of them have transitioned really well and others really struggled. Uh, most of our older guys, our veterans, are doing a good job with that. Uh, a lot of our rookies are, are, are struggling, and particularly when they get in a situation uh, like they had today where there aren't coaches standing around and standing in the huddle to tell them what their assignment is on that particular play. The, the play gets called, they got to break the huddle, or the defensive call comes in, and they've got to line up, and uh, a lot of it goes right out the window. But uh, good news is we've got, we've got plenty of time before the first game, and uh, our intention is to get all of them to be up to speed mentally so we can really find out and evaluate them physically and, and, uh, and figure out a lineup for the first ball game. You talked about that a little bit, how well prepared the guys are physically coming off the summer and even going through conditioning in the first 11 practices, 10 practices. A lot of coaching moments on the sidelines. What's going to happen tonight after the coaches get a chance to review the film from today? Well, our guys will go have lunch and, uh, and then we'll meet back up with them later this afternoon and start on the film. and we'll. We'll, uh, we'll have an evaluation for each guy on how he did on every play and uh, in terms of, of, of technique and assignment, his performance on the play as well as his effort. So uh, we grade the, the film very meticulously and uh, the guys need feedback um, and, and that helps them improve, it helps them get better, it gives those guys that, that maybe uh, didn't perform as well or didn't give us as good effort an opportunity to to see the guys that we are praising for doing good things and, and uh, those are all teaching tools so we'll do that this afternoon uh, as well as tonight and then uh, and then get ready for practice again tomorrow at Eagle Creek. You are a very strong believer in the power of film, the eye in the sky. What did you see from ground level today? I thought our defense played, uh, played blocks really well. They beat blocks, uh, got off of blocks and got to the ball carrier and that's that's uh, very encouraging to see. Um, we've got to play great defense, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that they had a good day. I hope that that will continue. And, uh, and we had some good plays on offense. We had some guys make some good runs. And um, the, the hope in a scrimmage like this is that there's a balance. There's good plays on both sides, and um, we're going to work toward that. And we'll, we, we scrimmage against uh, each other every day. The defense going against the offense, and we film that every day and, and, uh, and grade it each day. And uh, Next Saturday we'll be back out here again in, in a very similar type setting and, and uh, we'll get a chance to see how much we've improved. One of the things you mentioned is that as the head coach you have the benefit of knowing the calls on both sides of the ball. What do you think the defense handled particularly well today, even not knowing what was coming, and what do you think the offense handled particularly well? We've been going against each other for 11 straight practices. so. There's, there's not a lot of secrets in terms of what the offense is going to do and what the defense is going to do. and uh, it, it, it really is just a matter of the guys on offense uh, blocking the right guy and sustaining the block, the guys on defense playing the right gap, playing the right assignment, and, and, uh, and getting off blocks and, and making tackles. And, uh, and I think because our scheme on defense today is very simple, uh, just you know, very base defense, it gives our guys a chance to adjust to all the different formations, all the different personnel groups, line up, play the defense, and we can see who can play blocks and play tackle or, or make tackles. And, and uh, so it's going to be good film for us to watch. With that in mind, how much percentage-wise installation have you done so far in this preseason? We're uh, we're nearing the finish. Uh, we've got probably a couple more days. We will we will start to or we will we'll continue to install. Uh, Offensive plays, defensive fronts, coverages, blitzes, um, but for the most part, we've got in what we're going to play with in the first game. Uh, there will be little changes and little wrinkles that'll be added uh, here and there as we approach the first game, and then throughout the season, uh, different things for different opponents. But we, we've got the bulk of our our defense in, the bulk of our offensive game plan in uh, already. Both Jarek and Izzy mentioned that execution was something they both need to work on. As a coach, though, how do you feel them knowing what they need to work on and that you have that versatility at quarterback? How do you feel about that? Those two guys are uh, they're, they're mature. 
uh, they understand the importance of the role in our in our offense and, and for our football team. Uh, they they both got work that that they need to do, and they they'll see that on film. They'll they'll see the mistakes they've made, and, and uh, I'm confident they'll work to get them corrected. Um, our offense is is uh, geared so much around that position that uh, they understand that if they don't perform well. We're going to struggle on offense, so I think they they probably take uh, you know the the fact that we didn't move the ball as well as we'd like to today, didn't score as much as we'd like to today, and they probably take it more personally and put the blame on themselves. And uh, for the guys in that position, I, one that's important that they that they feel that that uh, sense of responsibility. Uh, but two, it'll it'll help them just concentrate and focus and, and try to play better tomorrow. Coach, we look forward to practice tomorrow, and we appreciate your time with George Southern Athletics. I'm looking forward to practice tomorrow, too.